welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is Leslie if you don't know me today's video we are gonna go through my trash I know that sounds crazy I've been collecting some products for a few months now that I have used up and I want to just do like a little empties video see if anything that I have already used up if I would repurchase or not so stay tuned for my thoughts so let's go ahead and get started here here is the bag of used up products here. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff from in there so you guys can see the stuff that I'm pulling out. So first, this is from e.l.f. This is their detoxifying bubble mask and this is what it looks like. Well, the packaging at least the mask I threw away because it was gross. But this is the first product here and I just have some few, few notes that I took so that I let you guys know what it claims and if I would repurchase. So the e.l.f. bubble mask, it is charcoal infused. It is for dry skin and claims to detoxify. Would I repurchase? Yes, I would. I feel like it definitely did detoxify my skin and made it feel clear and it wasn't like super drying to the face so when I took it off my skin felt really nice and hydrated it didn't feel like it was too hard you know sometimes when you put some mask on your skin feels really dry and hard so that did not happen with this mask I really would recommend it if you guys want to purchase it it is the elf detoxifying bubble mask moving on to our next product is another mask kind of it's the little gold under eye mask type things this one is the holler and glow money honey depuffing under eye mask these are really good this one is a Hydro gel under mask claims to de puff under the eyes. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I actually have repurchased both of those masks already so that I can keep using them and put them into my skin routine here and there and use them maybe once a week or a couple times a month or something like that. Would I repurchase it? Yes, it definitely did de puff and hydrate my under eyes. I really have very dry under eyes, so that helped a lot. It definitely made me look more awake if I hadn't slept the night before definitely took off that they're puffing under my eyes so definitely a good product another one that I would definitely recommend for you guys and then I have the not your mother's products here I actually have two in the bag this is one of the products this is the way to grow leave-in conditioner it is awesome this stuff I really like it this one claims to detangle and protect against breakage it does have this formula called Brocopil, so it can boost new hair growth and strengthen your hair. I can say that the hair growth part is definitely one of them. My hair has grown gradually fast. This is one of the things that I've been doing for my upkeep of my hair. Definitely does detangle, so I would repurchase it. I actually already have another one of these. It's really good. It does strengthen the hair a little bit. My hair still falls off. I'm trying to get there see if what is going on or why is my hair falling off so much but this does do a good job at what it says it's supposed to do and then the other product that is from that same brand that I have in here is the not your mother's dry shampoo now this claims to absorb oils give you volume and leaves no residue now it definitely does absorb your oils and it gives you a little bit of volume but there is a lot a lot of residue no matter how much you shake the bottle so you know you don't get the white stuff all over your hair i would say that that's not true um it does for me at least for my hair it does leave a lot of residue and you can see the little white things on my hair all through the day my hair just looks really gross like i haven't showered in forever which it's not true i don't wash my hair like every other day or sometimes i would go two days without washing it but it makes my hair look really gross and nasty so i will not be repurchasing these again i'm trying out the tresemme one for now if you guys know of a good dry shampoo that doesn't leave any residue i've tried the batiste one that one is good i think i tried the original i've heard that the brunette one 
is supposed to be good for the residue part of it but i have not tried that one i've just tried the original batiste but this i do not recommend to you guys and i will not repurchase this okay let's see if we have any more hair products in here i have the garnier fructis style flat iron and this is the sleek and shine one so it claims to protect the hair from heat with 48 hours straight finish. Would I repurchase it? Yes. I feel like it does help my hair stay straight for those whatever hours. I mean, I haven't counted. I've only wore it for, you know, the whole day and then I straighten my hair out again the next day and use it again. So I don't know if it's really for 48 hours, but I know that it does hold my hair straight and it kind of detangles your hair as well when you're trying to straighten it. It works better when your hair is dry than when your hair is wet. So don't dry your hair when it's wet because then you create more breakage in your hair. So yeah, but I would repurchase it. I actually think I have repurchased that already. I'm not sure, but I think I do have a spare one somewhere in my bathroom or something that I would repurchase again. Okay, so these are the Tenuous Setting Mist from Morphe. These are amazing. The mist on these are so, so fine and so good. You barely feel like it's going on your face, so sometimes you really have to spray to feel it, but it definitely is there. So if you put too much on, it's gonna feel really wet. Your skin is gonna look really wet. It is really good. I like to use it to blend out my makeup. First, I'll put my foundation and whatever cream stuff that I use and then my powders and then I'll go and spray this all over my face and it definitely blends everything together so the skin looks flawless and not like you have a powdery base on top of that foundation. So definitely good setting mist. I do like these a lot. Like I said, I do use them to like blend all my makeup up and also to set my face. And then continuing on with the setting mist, I have this other one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This one is really good. I don't use this to blend all my products out. I actually just use this to set. So after I'm done with all my makeup and everything is on my face that needs to be on, I spray this on my face and it lasts all day, obviously, all night, whatever. <laughs> but it is very good to set your makeup in place and keep it there till you're ready for the makeup to come up. And then one more thing for my setting mist stuff. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. This, I think I did a little mini review on a while back when I did the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. But anyways, at that time it was okay. But as I used it on and on, I found that this is just a good mist when you're not wearing any makeup. You really just wanna refresh your face. And after you do like your skincare or anything like that and you wanna mist something on, this is a good thing for that. But if you want to prime with it, or set your makeup it does not work for me i feel like it breaks out my makeup like my foundation in certain spots if the little mist is too harsh then it'll leave those little circles all over my face and wherever those circles are is where my makeup will break apart so don't recommend it for that i would not repurchase this because i already have a spray that i really enjoy that i use just to spray my face which is the mario badescu sprays those are really nice my favorite one is the lavender one right now i don't have that one i bought the rose one which i really like as well but my favorite one is the lavender one so this is a no-go for me okay let's see what else we have in here this is the la girl pro matte hd long wear matte foundation this is supposed to be a suede finish medium to full coverage smooth long wear okay so would i repurchase this probably not you can build it up to a full coverage but it clings on to my dry spots so definitely not a product that i would be repurchasing it has a little bit of that suede but it, when you try to build it up the foundation just looks like it's sitting on the skin it doesn't look like it's really on your face like blended into your face it just looks like it's on top of it at least for my skin type my skin is kind of weird so in the winter 
winter of course it's really dry and I get like really bad dry spots here and there and in the summer it's really oily in some spots not everywhere so this just slides off everywhere I haven't been able to find a way to keep it in place sometimes when I powder it it just looks extra cakey so this is a no-go for me I will not be repurchasing this again and our next one let's keep with the foundation theme here going this is the true match lumi healthy luminous makeup foundation this one has an spf of 20 which is great i love using it both in the winter and in the summer this is actually one of my favorite 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 foundations i feel like i can use it any time of year and it will look great on the skin it is definitely one of my favorites i can set it with powder i can leave it alone sometimes if i leave it alone i do have to set the areas that get oily like if i use it in the summer my oily spots i do have to set it with powder or it gets way too oily but it's nothing that i can't work with i love the finish of this it's not too drying or too oily so definitely it's a keeper i love this one will repurchase actually i already have a backup of it so yeah and then my next product i have here is the makeup revolution fast base stick and this is just a stick obviously i already finished it but it was good and it really affordable. I think this is just like $7, maybe $9. I can't remember. It is very hydrating. So if you have oily skin, you definitely need to set this foundation. It is very, very hydrating. You can definitely tell when you wear this. Your skin's going to look more dewy. So definitely set it with a powder. But I will be repurchasing this one. I have not bought another one of these. So yeah, I will probably will be repurchasing this one again. And I do recommend it to you guys. And then this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. This is really awesome. It is waterproof and it is full coverage for sure. I will definitely buy this again. I feel like whenever I want my foundation to last, if I'm going to be out all day and just doing things, or if I'm just going to take pictures or going to go out somewhere nice or something like that this is one of the foundations that i'll reach for because like in the summer i feel like i can wear it because if i sweat or anything like that and i know i'm gonna be out all day it definitely lasts through that in the winter it just looks nice and flawless and you don't really need to set it with powder i feel like it looks nice just on its own definitely a good foundation so i would recommend this for you guys if you guys want something that's full coverage that's gonna last you all day this is a foundation for you and then we have the color pop this is the brow color and this is in the shade black and brown this is a brow pomade and i love color pop and their products are so amazing and the price point is definitely great but this is not for me it did not work out i felt like it got dry way too fast and it was hard to work with at times sometimes on my brush it would like dry up really fast when i was trying to put it on and so it would dry out on my eyebrow when i was trying to blend it and it wouldn't blend so definitely will not be repurchasing this it is really the colors are really pretty they have a variety of them but maybe if it wasn't so drying, then I would definitely repurchase this. For now, I have not stopped using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Because it's what I've been using for the past year. So, will not be repurchasing these. And here is the last product that I'm going to talk about. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Eyebrow. And this is just a highlighter for your eyebrows. So what I use it for is I will go underneath my eyebrow here and try to clean it up as well. So before I put my foundation on or anything like that, I like to go in with this. And once I've done my eyebrows, I'll go in with this and go really close to the eyebrow here. 
and just clean it up so if i need to make it look if i made a mistake or something like that i like to go in with this and then also it does highlight my brow bone up here so i like to use that from underneath my eyebrows so i can use it underneath i like to use it sometimes on top here if i make a mistake or something or even like here the corner here i like to use it i would repurchase this i actually got another one i think it was from ipsy last month or something so i didn't need to repurchase it i got another one but uh, after i'm done with that one i would definitely repurchase again it is something that i would be using and definitely recommend for you guys especially if you guys have a hard time using concealer to clean up your brows this is something easier i feel like just because i feel like you have more control with this than you would with a brush and concealer sometimes the concealer if it's too wet or something like that it tends to go up too high and then you mess up your eyebrow definitely don't need to purchase it if you're good with your concealer and brush but for me i find it helpful and a little bit easier to control to clean up your eyebrows yeah i do have other products but i will leave some of them to talk about maybe in another video or next month if you guys like this one i can definitely go through some more stuff and let you guys know what i think these are the products that i have um gone through and then that i would repurchase and some of them didn't work out so great so i will not be repurchasing them i hope you guys that enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think comment down below don't forget to subscribe and comment and yeah thank you for watching we'll see you on my next one toodles <laughs>